We're here now in a match. He's going to reach for my collar. There's no reason why I have to let him grab my collar. Okay, so for a few seconds, I'm going to let Liam go to grab, and I'm just going to practice blocking. And as I'm moving around, I want to keep good base, right? My feet are apart. I'm keeping my elbows close to my body. I'm in good posture. I'm not looking down. My head is up. Good position. He's going to reach. I'm going to break, not let him get it, not let him get it. And then at one point, I'm going to let him get it, and I'm going to break that grip. Okay, and then we're going to trade. I'm going to go to look. He's going to make sure I don't get it. And he's going to break the grip. Two on one. Okay. Back and forth. Go ahead. Warm up. Good. Now I'm going to put one more in here. We're going to work. This is a way for us. If you're more like me, I prefer the Greco to the Judo. This is a way for us to get into what we want to do, which is pummel. Okay. So he's going to grab that grip now. And the same thing, I'm stepping back to take that slack out. So I take that little step back. It's kind of a habit. So he grabs, I take that little step back, it's kind of a habit. And then I'm gonna come over and under so I get an underhook. Okay, so we're here. He grabs, I'm taking the slack out, I'm going down and underneath. As soon as I get there now, I can start to pummel in for my body lock, do all the stuff that I like to do. Okay, and I'm doing that, go slow. Same if, if I was breaking the grip, I always take this out first, right? Connection is a matter of compression or tension. So here, there's no good connection. Here, there's good connection. I can feel everything right away. It's just, that's connection from tension, right? My elbow comes over, I pummel elbow first, not my hand, my elbow first. As soon as my elbow drops, then I can drive in for my underhook. Okay, back and forth, go ahead. Okay, look, we're gonna finish now with, we're gonna do a very simple takedown, right? So Liam grabs, Take the tension out, I go here and I get to an underhook. As soon as I get to an underhook and I grab, I'm gonna start moving them around. I'm gonna move away from the other leg, okay? So I get my underhook. From here, I'm gonna reach up. So you're probably gonna wanna let go there. That's gonna hurt, yeah. yeah. Reach up and my fingers are gonna come around to his shoulder. And as soon as I feel that grip, then I wanna pull my elbow to me. So, grabs. And I get my underhook here and I'm hanging onto it. Now I'm gonna move away from that leg get him to step, then I'm just gonna touch and move to the side, okay? So one more time, take the slack out, I get a good underhook and I'm in here, I circle away from the other leg. So I want this one, square up with me. If I want this one, I'm gonna move away from it a little bit. As Soon as he steps, my hand goes here. And now very important, I don't try and drive into Liam this way where he can sprawl. The angle he's weak is here, I just walk this way. I don't have to lift his knee off the mat. If you get the angle right, if I have the other side, if you get the angle right, it doesn't take a lot of energy to, to knock them down. Okay, it should be nice and relaxed. Go ahead and try it back and forth. Look here, one thing I need to show real quick, I kind of skipped over, but how we land, as you guys know, is really important in jujitsu. I don't want to land in a triangle or inside, inside Liam's guard, right? So I pull and get him to step. I touch the knee. I'm going to kind of shot put a little bit with this hand, but I'm not going to do it really hard. I don't want to throw him away from me, but I'm going to keep walking until I get past his legs. So you should wind up like knee right, not here having to deal with his feet. Okay, keep going. Good, guys. One more thing real quick. This whole takedown is predicated on getting the guy to step, getting your opponent, your partner to step, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to go in here and like muscle in this way that we would do something else. So this is just based on moving away from that leg, getting a nice step. When you feel that heavy step like that, that's when you know you got it, right? You get that nice step. And then after that, it's just about that angle. So focus more on the step and less on the push and pull of the takedown. Okay, go ahead. A couple more times. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for frequent updates because we're updating this every week. And make sure you comment and like and share our videos. We appreciate it and we definitely try and respond to all the comments. And if you like what we're doing and you like the material, check out SPG University, SPGU, uh, and you're gonna see a ton more uh, in, in much greater depth than what you see here on YouTube. Thank you very much.